was Delta Airlines secretly funding a nonprofit group fighting a commercial airport in Paulding County? Now, the Georgia Court of Appeals will soon decide whether that question should be answered. Attorneys for the company trying to expand the Paulding County Airport believe it was Delta Airlines. Senior I-Team reporter Dale Russell was in court this week as attorneys argued over who has to admit what in court. Yeah, and it was quite an argument from both sides. It all started in 2013, the Paulding County Commission announced plans to turn its small airport, Silver Comet Field, into one large enough to handle commercial jets. But an anonymous grassroots committee appeared on the scene and fought it. Now a court battle is looming over who gave more than $200,000 to the committee to fund the fight. It's Delta who is behind all of this. They are the man behind the curtain who've been pulling the strings. Attorney Tony Cochran, arguing before a panel of Georgia Court of Appeals judges, says Delta Airlines is the power and money behind the Committee to Protect Paulding County. As seen on their Facebook page, the committee fought the proposed expansion of the Paulding County Airport, claiming to be a grassroots organization. They keep saying they are a grassroots organization. They are AstroTurf manufactured by Delta Airlines in the corporate offices. Cochran represents Silver Comet Terminal Partners. In 2013, the Paulding Commission announced that Silver Comet would bring commercial jets to the Paulding County Airport, an agreement many in the county felt was underhanded. I think they really pulled the wool over our eyes. Renouncing the support of commercial transportation. Two years later, a new set of commissioners, led by Todd Pownell and Vernon Collette, introduced a resolution to effectively kill the expansion. Silver Comet Terminal Partner sued, arguing the committee had to identify its financial backer. The case is now before the Georgia Court of Appeals, who heard arguments from both sides here at the Emanuel County Courthouse. They're entitled under the First Amendment to participate and have anonymous speech. Tippy Birch is the attorney for the committee director and political consultant, Chip Lake, seen here on his Facebook page. Birch argued the First Amendment protects anyone who sets up a grassroots nonprofit like the Committee to Protect Paulding County especially in a high-profile political battle. You can certainly see that there are situations where, including this one, where you may not want people, you may not want the rest of the community to know what side of an issue you fall on. Silver Comet's attorney, Tony Cochran, argued the committee supported new anti-airport expansion commissioners and when elected, helped those commissioners craft legislation to kill the deal. Chip Lake said there wasn't but one purpose for this committee, kill commercial service. It's not relevant. But attorney Don Gary, representing the treasurer of the committee, argued it doesn't matter who created the committee. His reasoning, because the Paulding County commissioners, not the committee, voted to effectively kill the airport expansion. All they want to do, as the judge said, for some emotional thing, they want to get in court and they want to scream, Delta, the big corporation, stop Paulding County from becoming rich. They, they want to do David and Goliath. Now I'm told it could take months before the Court of Appeals rules in this case, and that will be long after Paulding County voters cast ballots in the May primary vote for county commissioners. All three Republican candidates who voted to stop airport expansion face opposition in their own party. Russ, Marissa, and it'll be interesting to see how that turns out. Yeah, I mean, even if they were to decide that Delta was behind this, then what, potentially? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's a lot of people are asking that. Yeah. Is you, if you have a new commission voted in, then you're gonna, this thing could really get interesting in terms of trying yet again to bring the airport back, the expansion back. But we'll just have to wait and see. It's always up to the voters, isn't it? Right, exactly. Yeah, you'll right. keep us up to the speed on it. We're trying it. to. <laughs> We're trying to. It'll be a while before we get a ruling from the Court of Appeals, but uh, we'll follow it. And most folks watching this think no matter who wins, the other side's going to appeal, and it'll end up before the Supreme Court. Because it's actually a very interesting legal argument because these committees that are set up by law are allowed to remain anonymous and, and they're trying to pierce that. So yeah. will they be able to and how yeah. will that affect other committees down the road? That seems to be the rub. All right, Dale, thanks very much.